I'm reading from the Orthodox Jewish Bible. When our Mashiach is seen with the sages at the age of 12 in Luke chapter 2, verse 46, the resultant picture of life in pre-Horban based Shani Judaism inspires us to the desire for our youth, the spiritual education and preparation involved in a bar mitzvah service, especially in the context of a Shabbos Torah service. Today, I want to talk about the Orthodox Jewish Bible, but especially I want to talk about Jews for Judaism, real Jews for real Judaism. And you know what? The scriptures say that not all Israel is Israel. And it says that there's a, there's a difference between somebody who only has a genealogical connection and somebody who has a spiritual connection and a spiritual circumcision. Uh, throughout the Brit Hadashah, it says, if you have eyes to see and ears to hear. In other words, circumcised eyes, circumcised ears, the circumcision of the heart. You say, oh yeah, well that's uh, Christianity. That's the New Testament. No, friend. Because Deuteronomy 10, 16, Deuteronomy 30, verse 6, Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 4, Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 25 and 26, speak of a purified heart that is circumcised. Uh, the thing that got Stephen stoned when they threw the stones at him was he said, you're uncircumcised of heart and you always resist the Holy Spirit. And we know that many of the prophets were killed because of this, this uncircumcision. So in Romans chapter 2, verses 28 and 29, it says that the true Jew gets his praise not from men, but from God. Mm -hmm. And his circumcision is secret. It's the inner man circumcised. And of course, uh, there were twins in the in the uh, womb of Rivka, uh, Romans chapter nine verse six. But one of them became a nation that did not have God's favor, and the other one became a nation that did. And you have to go back to Bereshit chapter eighteen verse ten, where a promise was given. Hashem shows up. There's three. That should indicate something to you. And then it's like an incarnation. Here is God Almighty, but he's sitting in a human body eating and drinking. And he says, <laughs> about this time next year, I'm going to come back and you're going to have a son. And that son is going to be the child of the promise. And, you know, Sarah was behind the tent door and she she laughed <coughs> and the, you know this this was God showing you that to be a true member of Abraham's family you have to be like Abraham you have to be a child of the spirit and Mashiach said this you must be born from above Whatever is of flesh is flesh. It's not enough to be a Jew according to the flesh. You have to have more than a Jewish genealogy. Look at Rav Shaul. Yes, he was circumcised on the eighth day. A Hebrew of, all, of Hebrews, a uh, Pharisee. He was a direct descendant of, of the tribe of Benjamin, named after King Saul. He had all the, the pedigree, all the genealogical credentials. But he was an enemy of God until he met the Mashiach on the Damascus Road. And then, and then he became spiritually Jewish. 
And that's what we're talking about here. You have to have both to be a real Jew. There are those who say they are Jews, but they're not. They blaspheme the way. Listen, in, in pre-Hurban Beisheni Judaism, there was a sect called Haderic, the way. If you want to read about them, read Acts chapter 21. This is real Judaism. This has got everything. This is the real thing. Now, you know, there was a counterfeiter. I think his name was Art Williams. And he was a real master. He had been an apprentice of another, another counterfeiter. And he could make a $100 bill so authentic looking that when you felt it, when you looked at it, when you looked for all the telltale evidences of a real bill, it was there. It was all there. Uh, and even the FBI, even, even the people who should have known had great difficulty discerning whether it was genuine or counterfeit. Listen, friend, we're not talking about a counterfeit Jew, and we're not talking about counterfeit Judaism. We're talking about real Jews for Judaism. Real Judaism. That's what we're talking about. And the reason this Bible was translated was to try to show what that kind of faith would look like so that people could realize that this was not a Gentile religion, and its adherents were not Gentiles. In the beginning, it was Jewish. And we want to bring it back to the Orthodox Jews today and the ultra-Orthodox Jews and let them see their own religion and reclaim it. You say, it's not going to happen. It is happening. It's been going on since the Six-Day War. And uh, I believe that many Jewish people are going to turn to the Lord. And how can I say that? Because it's in the Bible. Look at the book of Revelation, 144,000 righteous Jews. And notice there's no lie in their mouth. Who is a bigger liar than the man who says that Yeshua is not the Moshiach? And how can you be a real Jew with real Judaism if you're a liar? That's the question this book asks. And I believe that there are some Sauls out there who are right now persecutors, but soon they're going to be preachers because God is going to turn them around like he did Saul of Tarsus on a Damascus road. Go to YouTube and Google the rabbi from Tarsus, the, the complete movie, and watch it. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Lord, I want to pray for Jews for Judaism, that they would become real Jews for real Judaism. And we'll give you the praise, Lord, as you do an operation on their hearts, as you circumcise their hearts, as the moil knife of Moshiach cuts away the downward pull of the old nature, the, the blind nature, the dead in trespasses, and sins nature and supplies them with a lev hadash and a ruach hadasha. Amen. Amen. Did you get it, Barry? Why don't the Christians accept Judaism also?